Hi, I'm Colin Kiley, beverage manager at Skip Jack's Restaurants. Nothing, nothing makes a good cocktail like freshly made juice, which we do daily here at Skip Jack's. Now we're going to move on to some pineapple. Now when you look at a pineapple, what do you see? Spines, leaves, a husk. We need to get rid of all of that to get right into the pineapple meat, which is where all the juice is. So first thing we want to do is remove the tops. It's a nice large knife, something that has a little bit of weight to it. Remove that, and then remove the bottom. Then we want to remove this outer husk here. Alright, at the center of the pineapple, you're going to notice the core. This is very, very, fi very fibrous, very, very tough, and contains virtually no juice. You're going to have to filter that out anyway, so you might as well cut around it. After we get the core removed, we start cutting it into smaller pieces before we, use, before we process it. Now that we have our pineapple all cut up into manageable slices, we're going to throw it in the food process. So after we've pureed it, the consistency is going to look a little bit like cake batter. The pineapple tends to puff up when it's agitated. And now what we want to do is we want to strain all of, all of the remaining elements of pulp, maybe a little bit of the rind that's left over, through a mesh strainer. Using a big ladle like this helps to move, it, helps to move the pineapple around and to press it through the air, press the juice through the holes. Alright, so after you filter your pineapple, you're going to notice that it's really puffy. You can scrape whatever uh, the top layer of pulp off, and after about an hour, you're going to be left with wonderful, wonderful juice. Perfect ingredient for tiki cocktails like the zombie, or really anything you want to do if you want to do a rum punch, anything like that. Really perfect.